be our route back. Mm-hmm. It will be our route back. Uh, maybe we need to spend a little bit more time out here than we thought. Yeah. Okay. Nasty. We're, we're gonna look for a Walmart, actually. Yeah, that will be fun. This has been this way for at least three minutes. Yeah. I was gonna say like three months. Three months. <laughs> it's true. It's been really bad for the last few months. Uh, there's the end of it right oh, there. Oh yeah, the there head. we go. No, it's seriously been surprisingly long back up. Yeah, it's bad. Lots of semis. Frankie, say hey. Hey. We're on Highway 70. Yeah. Headed east. No, Frankie, it's one away. One away. Yeah. Yeah. We're headed out to uh, where else? A candle outlet. <laughs> well, you guys know how we roll. Yeah, we've actually gone to this place. Well, we for a while there we were going every November. Yeah, it was kind of a November. It was track. a November tradition, and we haven't been for a couple of years, but we're going back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this will be fun. Frank, you know my website, Atlas Obscura. Yes, yes, I do. I say my website. I you I, look at it quite regularly. I don't own the domain. No, you don't. No, I. A lot of the places we end up at, it's because of that website. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Warm Glow Candle Company is now on Atlas Obscura. That is just weird. Well, it is it's, weird. No, it's sort of a weird destination. Yeah. Well, and then once we get there, we'll show them why also. Yeah, it's got, I don't know, probably the world's biggest candle out front. Yes, it is. I believe it is world's largest candle. I think that's why it makes the destination. I think so, yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, we're headed there. It's about an hour east of Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. Just on the border of Ohio and, yeah, Ohio and Indiana. Right. You guys from Ohio could probably get there pretty easily. They could meet us there yeah. sometime. Yeah. We'll meet at the candle company. <laughs> That's where the knife people meet. Yeah, there it is. Well, we spoke too soon. Yeah. I think you jinxed us. Five minutes later, we got our own little... Uh, backup? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not that kind of backup. Frankie and I were talking about massages. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We may as well tell them. Yeah. So okay. my first experience ever getting like a professional massage. Yeah. Uh, and I had gotten chiropractor work before that. And you know, I was thinking, oh that you know, I feel great after that and I'll try uh -huh. a massage. I was yeah. probably twenty. And I've always been a big fan of them because I yeah, I yeah. Whatever. You can rub me any time you want. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We'll read into that how yes, you will. Okay. Go ahead, read whatever you want. Well, I was gonna say your mom ah, actually. This is why. Right Whoa. Here. Okay. Yeah. That's facing probably the wrong, the wrong way. way. Yeah. That's not a good option. Not a good option. <laughs> Neither is butt crack for the YouTube video. Yeah, that's not good. Anyway. Okay. Hopefully we'll speed back up, but it doesn't look like we're gonna. No. Whoa! A guy just ran straight across it the road. Ran across the freeway. Did you guys see that? What the heck? I bet the semi was like, what are you doing, dude? What's this guy doing? Is he fishing? For dinner, maybe? There's no. two people down there. What the heck? This is Anyway. Weird. Okay. Back to the massage. Yeah. Go or back as to I the call it, the story. sensual massage. <laughs> I don't know, because she talked like that anyway. Yeah. Okay. Your mom, I had mentioned your mom. What does your mom have to do with my massage? That's, that's uh, that bad. Just I gotta seems clarify. Weird it right does now, really, but yeah. she had gotten me a gift certificate. I yes. think it was somebody that she knew or somebody somehow she had gotten a gift certificate for a massage. Yeah. She gave it to me, I think, for my birthday. Yeah, I think so. I, like I say, guys, I was around twenty or twenty-one, mm -hmm. and I went to this place. It was in it was in the city we used to live in. in it in was Washington. in the top of the towers. Yeah, it was in like the biggest building of yeah. a small town right mm -hmm. downtown um this was back in washington state but i you know i went in there and I, I had to take the elevator up and everything and it was just in this small little office room it was just and there was a table in there Central. yeah it, and, and i think <laughs> there was uh incense and everything going and it was just yeah it was already awkward for me but <laughs> i went in there and she you know introduced herself and, and she's like okay well go ahead and get ready and you know i um Disrobe. I was supposed to disrobe, I guess, you know, and uh, I took off my clothes, but I left my boxers on because it 
it was me and a strange woman. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know it was going to be that type of massage. It was me and a strange woman, and I just figured, okay, I, you know, I'll take off my clothes to my boxers. That's fine. If she wants to, you know, <laughs> I just, she's just going to do what she's going to do, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, but she ended up, um, you know, looking at me and saying, like, so are you not going to take off your boxers? And I just, I had no idea what to say. I was like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just became super awkward because she started saying like, uh, she was like, well, I can, I can massage you everywhere except that area if you'd like. Yeah. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever you're going to do. You could probably still massage the boxers area too, I guess. But mm -hmm. yeah. Like it, it, go around or something. She was super timid and shy, and it just became very awkward because I was too, having never experienced this before. And then right, this yeah. strange lady is wanting me to get completely naked, and I'm just thinking this seems a little strange. I don't know. You should um, film the song real quick because it seems like it goes together. <laughs> she did not. She did not. I think maybe she was expecting that she needed to. Though. Yeah, I mean that maybe that was part of the deal. Yeah. Uh, anyway little story time there. Maybe my mom paid extra for that. <laughs> that was a little weird too. <laughs> Whatever. And she was probably, I don't know. No, I think I was really into the chiropractor work because I had injured my back. Yeah. And, and the chiropractor was, was really helping. Yeah, yeah. So, no, it wasn't that weird. <laughs> Until the actual massage. Oh, there's that really sweet, um, uh, go-kart track. Go-kart that people... Like up-and-coming go-karters? kids yeah go there go there yeah we know a couple yeah and his get home bag <laughs> it's a little ransacked at the moment a little i've gotten into it i guess a few hopefully everything's still in the car i am no promises there i won't pan back because it's a mess you're a mess look there's water in here what else there's... i went looking for zip ties because i fixed somebody's car that's frankie and i that's why it's ransacked, is because I Here. looked for zip, t zip, tie zip ties to fix somebody's car. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. So I did, I got underneath the car and fixed it. There is lots of zip ties in here. I think these are my glasses in there. Yeah, I don't need glasses. I didn't know there were sunglasses or something. No, they're just little basic glasses. lantern. We need to replace the, the lights in here with yeah. like good lights. Decent ones. We have good lights. Okay, this is, this is emergency uh, pepper spray. What's the expiration date, though? Oh, it only expired last year. Well, the bears would be like, don't shoot me with that expired stuff. It stings even more. Expired doesn't count. <laughs> Any mind if, away. <laughs> mind if I root through your trash? <laughs> Wait, this is a survival blanket. Yeah, it's another sleeping We have two. Bag. Okay. It's for if it gets really cold. And there's more stuff in here. What's this? Gauze bandages. I don't know. Shout out to... Whoa. It's a good spot to park. Shout out to Rogue Preparedness. Yes. This is definitely her wheelhouse. We can we survive. Have, what do we have in there? It's some cards. I know, but they're not like, they're not going to be valid. Is this a cute, that's a cute Doba <laughs> card. <laughs> you never know if you get lost, there might be a cute Doba card. Okay, line. there's like expired credit cards in there. Oh, this is, this is that emergency food. Yeah. Yeah, when does this stuff expire? Can I, I think see? it's still been a little while. Uh, I don't know. Oh, you know what? This what? literally expired two months ago, last month. Well, Sorry, guys, it's really... If, if you're desperate, you're desperate. It's really bumpy here. Um, September, last, oh, like, two months okay. ago. Officially two months ago. Yeah, okay. Wow, okay. I'll still call it good. Mm -hmm. I won't be too picky in an emergency zombie situation. Right, yeah. You'll eat your pie crust anywhere. Yeah, it is like pie crust. Yeah. All right, almost there. Almost there. There's the sign for it. This is the exit. Woohoo, we made it. A little over an hour. Yeah, it's not too bad. Hour to get some candles. Couldn't do that at Walmart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here
here it is. You'll be able to mm -hmm. see this place from I-70. I-70 is right there. Yeah. And you can see the, the candle. There's the candle. It's so big. Uh, that's too easy, Frankie. I know. That's been your favorite sweatshirt. Yes, it's time of year for sweatshirts. Time of year for sweatshirts. Here we go. We never buy candles except for this place. But when we go to this place, we spend $700. <laughs> And if this doesn't make you get in the mood for Christmas, nothing does. It's kind of noisy. I don't know how well they'll hear. Look at the deer. Don't you love them? My dear friends. My dear friends. <laughs> <laughs> So candles are pretty much scattered everywhere. Yeah, yeah, they really are. But there's a lot of decoration and whatnot. Ooh, pure paradise. I know the, I know the knife guys are really interested in this stuff. Whatever. Okay, you know something I'll say though about this place, Frankie. What? Something I will say. Yes. For as many candles that are in this store, the smell in here is not overwhelming. No, it's not. It's just very light. Oh, I remember this one. This is the pear. You remember this one? Yeah. What do you guys think? Yes, please. Yeah, right. I love cheesecake. Mm -hmm. A little too much. I think these are all clearance ones. Because that seems like a good dollar, eight fifty for these. How much? Eight fifty. Purple one smells really good. I don't know what it is. This looks like that medley of cauliflower, that frozen mix that we get. I can't smell that one. Yes, this is the price tag. It's really cool looking. Should ask him if it includes all the candles. Yeah. This is a really interesting idea, $5, too. $5,000 for this. Look, it's a candle, but then it has a light on the inside. So it, like, warms it up and... Is it a candle on the inside? No, it's a light. It plugs in. I don't like that. I don't know. It might be a really cool idea. This is a real candle? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a real candle. Gonna, then you just... The Sli light's done for when you when you burn up the candle? Yeah, but it's, like, just a slow-burning candle. I don't like that. It's oh. like a VCR DVD combo. Yeah. That's true. Two technologies. If you call cool. if you call flame a technology. Yeah. What was your reaction here? I said this is only $299. Let's show them. It's really nice. I actually do like it. I like it. You know what it reminds me of? What? So it's got that weathered, distressed microtech look. Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> You these can guys put can put microtex on it. These guys can identify with that. We can put all of our knives in it. But look at this though. See, I can make this look like this yeah, in yeah. just a year of use. That's true, you could. Hmm. Kind of I was surprised there's a gate dividing this half of the store. Pictures. Uh, that makes sense. So it's it's a different store. Yeah, a little bit. 
看。Frankie loves this one. Yeah, I like that. Felix would destroy it. Yeah, first, he would. First, he'd eat the eyes. Yes, he would. Yeah, he goes for plastic first. I like him. He's my pal too. Speaking of distressed Microtech, this one looks like my PBK Vegas Boba Fett. Yeah, it does. This is really cool. It's the fire for the fireplace. Uh, yeah. Well, I was gonna say, I, I don't dislike it, but I could paint it. Yeah. How I much? Felix good. $45. Felix good. Here we go. Check out all the different scents. I yeah. see a food theme. I will eat any of this, please. Are these all food? Apple, cinnamon, banana, and nut bread. Belgian pecan waffles, blueberry cobbler, orange cranberry, hot butter rum. Uh, Northern pine. I would eat a pine tree. Yeah, mostly. Mostly food. Some of these smell great and everything, but I don't know if I could handle it in the house all the time. Kettle corn. I mean, it's great and everything, but I'd be too tempted to eat. Not the candle. Is that supposed to be Vettel or Schumacher? Well, it's obvious like a Ferrari. Those are the old style tires. Yeah. It's not a peacock. Look at this pretty. thing. I wouldn't think that this was real. Hey, come on, <laughs> buddy. Come on over here. Come here, bud. Come here, bud. You're pretty, too. Look at you. You're all white. What a pretty birdie. I wonder what they taste like. Say, like, why would you? Don't talk. Say, like, chicken? <laughs> <laughs> I would guess chicken. Frankie, smell this one. I don't like the real thing, and I don't like the candle. I like the real thing. Maybe you haven't tasted it lately. Never been a fan of carrots, like, in any form. You've grown to like them more so. Mm, what was what that? What was that? Not sure. Chocolates? Uh, I don't remember the chocolates. I mean wine. Our current selection. Check these out. Zombie candles. Why? Just the colors, I guess? Yeah. Yeah. And they're kind of folly. Trying to figure out what the smell is. Zombie like flesh. Yeah. Rotting zombie flesh. Burning, rotting zombie flesh. Yeah. I joked about spending $700 in candles in this place. That is really nice though. But look, you really could spend thousands of dollars in this place. Yeah, it really is cool. There's a lot of miscellaneous things. All said and done, we spent a little over $100. On candles? On candles. I know. That'll last us until January. You shouldn't, co you shouldn't show me like trash that's all right here. Are we not showing? No, it's like trashy. Well, we just did. That's how we're going to close the video. Yeah, okay, fine. Road trip. Trashy. It gets, it gets trashy. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us on this not a video. Not a video for this sure. This is definitely not any footage that you guys want to see. Wait, wait, wait. Hmm. What are you carrying? Oh, knife stuff? Yeah, knife stuff. At the very end. We made it this far, guys. We went with Les George's. See, I do have a right hand. There you go. These knives are sweet. The 0900 and... 920? 920, yep. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Yep. And the cool thing about Les George's is that they have um, buzz cuts. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. go. Mm -hmm.
kind of a signature thing that he does. Yes. Bomb squad. All right. This was a candle video. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.